The purpose of this project under the Future Drought Fund is in essence to demonstrate to ACT landholders as well as broader landholders outside the ACT that for a relatively small investment um, in enhancing a farm dam you can dramatically improve the water retention in that dam, you can improve the water quality in that dam. Part of a, a rebuilding of the environment in, around the dam is to allow the water uh, to be clean, cleansed by the plants and uh, life in the dam and uh, turn them into great habitat that we hope to attract more and more uh, species of everything back to these dams. We can always improve our herd health uh, and by improving your stock health you can improve your stock product productivity. It also helps, uh, not only do we benefit our livestock we, and benefit livestock welfare, it makes us feel better as well. Healthy farm dams greatly benefit the properties that host them. Not just the landscape and biodiversity, but the livestock as well. With support from the Commonwealth Future Drought Fund, the ACT government has established a program to assist landholders to reconsider how they manage their dams. This is really important because dams serve a number of functions. So during drought, obviously, they provide water, but they also help to rehydrate the landscape planting trees and so forth and increasing the vegetative cover, they provide a greater biodiversity value but also shading which um, reduces the amount of evaporation that you might see from a dam and then also cools down the water so it's easier and more palatable for the stock to drink. These environments can be greatly enhanced by strategically fencing them off from livestock. In many cases, farm dams sit along historic watercourses. So particularly in the southern tablelands of, of New South Wales and in the ACT, prior to, to European um, agricultural uh, investment, there was uh, commonly swampy meadows and chains of pond systems through the landscape, which were natural features. And a lot of those systems have been, have been lost over time due to erosion and incision and drainage of those, of those watercourses. So those features in essence have been, have been superseded or supplanted by farm dams which have become a ubiquitous feature of the landscape. Now those dams have the, the capacity to function if they're enhanced in the same way that those chains of pond systems would have worked in the past, which is filtering watercourses, providing habitat for frogs and invertebrates, providing bird habitat and retaining water in the landscape over a longer period of time. Enhancing their farm dams has proved highly successful for the Lilliman family who have cattle and pastured chickens on their Cambar property. John and Carol were newcomers to farming when they acquired the property in 2012, but were eager for their agricultural business to be as environmentally friendly as possible. When we arrived here the purpose was, uh, of the dams was to provide water for stock and uh, since we replaced uh, uh, stock water with nice clean fresh water, that reason has gone away. So we fenced out the dams once, once we could uh, give good fresh water to the cattle and the hens. The trough system works really well. It was part one of the first things we did was to get to divide the paddock so we could do some of the rotational grazing. So we put electric fences in and took out all the barbed wire. Um, and put trough lines underneath all of the fences. It means that the cows can go into small cell and get clean water all the time. So this is another reason to, yes, just try and restore the farm a bit from what it was when we bought it. This is one of four dams that we fenced out in 2017, shortly after we introduced uh, piped water and troughs for the cattle. It was Pretty, pretty eroded, lots of bare banks, love grass, and extremely dirty water as well. So uh, after we got, got the trough water in, we sort of looked around and went, why don't we do something about these? Turn them into something positive? So this is something, Carly, we did um, in 2017. Yeah. So this is the main, main entry for water runoff from yeah. the paddock. And this was a big head cut. Probably, I'm guessing, 
Dr. Kaili Driver is the ACT government's biosecurity vet. She says there are numerous very important reasons to keep stock out of the farm dams. To begin with, we're stopping livestock access to the dam. Livestock love to get into the water. Cows tend to poo even more when they're standing in the water. So then we've now got all this organic matter from the cow going into the water, as well as them destroying the bank, which therefore you know, promotes erosion when we do eventually get rain. If we're in a drought situation and we're losing water from that dam and, and it's, it's evaporating, then we've got mud and we've got misadventure. You know, animals go into that mud and I don't know if anyone's tried to walk through dams with well wellingtons on, but your feet get stuck and animals are just the same. It's also when you uh, get less water in the dam, the contaminants, the organic matter uh, is all condensed and, you know, concentrated. Uh, you get increased temperature in the water. Livestock don't like to drink that, aside from the fact that you can turn around and end up with sick cattle or sheep or any, any livestock that are drinking from it. The principles of good dam management have been around for a long time, but just recently the research unit of sustainable farms at ANU have basically shown that uh, you get almost um, immediate improvements in the function of the dam as soon as you um, start to enhance it by excluding stock and encouraging um, the use of the dam by other organisms. The farm dam is an important asset to protect against drought and the changing climate. With appropriate management, your farm dam can deliver many benefits for your stock health and productivity, and the biodiversity of your property.